This video is about trial and improvement. So the question says the equation x cubed plus 4x equals 60 has a solution between 3 and 4. Find the value of x to one decimal place. So what we've got to do is we've got to figure out what x is by guessing really, by saying we're going to try something. If it's too low, we'll try something higher. If it's too big, we'll try something lower. So the best way to do this is to set up a little table. So we'll have x here. We'll have x cubed plus 4x here. And then we'll write, we'll write a comment after it. So is it too big, too small? So let's draw a little table. So what we're going to do is we're going to guess what x is. So we're going to set this up in the calculator. We're going to put brackets wherever you see the x. And then we're just going to substitute in into the brackets the thing we're guessing. So it's between 3 and 4. So a sensible place to start will be 3.5. So we substitute that in, so we put 3.5 into the brackets, and then if we get a fraction answer, press the SD button, and we get, so we've got 3.5 cubed plus 4 times 3.5 is equal to 56.87. Okay, so we wanted 60, so that's actually too small, it's too low. We need to try something bigger, so we'll try 3.6. And then we click back into the calculator and change it to 3.6. So we've got 3.6 cubed plus 4 lots of 3.6. And that gives us an answer of, I'm just going to write the answer here, 61.056 that's actually too big so we know it's in between 3.5 and 3.6 so 3.5 is here 3.6 is here we need to know if it's closer to 3.5 or 3.6 now the only way we can do this is to try 3.55 so we try the middle value, halfway in between. So we write 3.55 cubed plus 4 lots of 3.5 into the calculator. 3.55, sorry. And that gives us an answer of 58.938875. That's too small. So... That's actually too small because we want something bigger than this. So that means it's in between 3.55 and 3.6. And if it's in between these two to one decimal place, x is 3.6. Okay, so let's set up another one here. Actually, you can try this one. So set up your table and figure out what x is to one decimal place. Okay, so we'll set up the table. We'll have x, x cubed minus 5x, and we want a comment. So it's between 4 and 5, so we'll try 4.5. So type into the calculator, bracket 4.5 bracket, cubed minus 5 bracket 4.5 bracket. And that will give us an answer of, so I'll just write what we type in the calculator here, 4.5 cubed minus 5, lots of 4.5. And that is 68.625. We wanted 87, so that's too small, too low. So we'll try a bigger number. Um, we'll try. We'll go to 4.7. So we'll try 4.7. 4.7 cubed minus 5, lots of 4.7.
and that gives us 80.323, still too small. So we're going to try 4.8. So we change the calculator to 4.8. So 4.8, I'm just going to write the answer here, 86.592. Too small again. So we'll do 4.9. So we just click back in the calculator, change the 0.8 to 0.9. That's 93.149, and that is now too big. So we know we've got it in between 4.8 and 4.9. We have to do the middle number, 4.85. You have to do it. So we type 4.85 into the calculator, and that gives you 89.8. 34125 and that's too big so 4.85 is too big that means in that gap between 4.8 and 4.5 so that means the one decimal place x is 4.8